my channel I do hope you're doing well firstly yes I will address I look like an absolute paintball dye mess don't I um my hair is a little bit uh let's just say frizzy it's freshly washed it's got the baby hairs and we are in our playboy tracksuit because you know what it is a Sunday my lovelies and it is chill day all right I'm not going to the gym not quite feeling it today gonna have a day off but I still want it to be productive so a lot of you may hear me reference in vlogs or videos bug bug is my car she's my little fiat 500 before anyone starts coming in the comments i know fiat 500s have a lot of pre-judgmental views and opinions let's just say but i don't think i conform to the normal fiat 500 stereotype um how could i put this bluntly well, everything that people think of a Fiat 500 driver, I'm not. I should probably be behind, I don't know, like a fast car. I do have a little bit of like a need for speed and everything like that. So I thought, you know what? It's actually a lovely day out there today. Bug does need a little bit of TLC. I have got her booked in tomorrow with the valet that comes around to our work to get the outside looking pristine. But today we need to focus on the inside because... She's not doing too great. So I thought, you know what, Shannon Lee? We have a very kind collaboration within this video. So I thought that gives me the perfect chance to give you a Fiat 500 car tour. You might be thinking, we know what Fiat 500 looks like. My version of a Fiat 500, she may be a little bit different. So we're going to have a car tour. We're going to spruce her up. We're going to do some cleaning. We're going to do some tire inflation. And as I say, we are very, very excited to say that there are two products very kindly gifted in this video, my lovelies, by the company VacLife. So make sure you're comfy. Get, as I say, a little bit settled. Get your snack. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be a very different video. But let's jump in with what we have been very kindly sent because I'm so excited to use this. I feel now like an adult, like I'm going to have my life together. Let's get in with it. <laughs> right. So as I say, today's video, we do have two items which are very, very much needed. Okay. My bug, Um, let's just say since I had the escapade man in a curb, She's not quite been the same. Um, I've got to take her into the garage next week and just have a few of the little wines and grinds just looked at to make sure it's nothing serious. But I've noticed that my tyre is slowly, not going down, I don't know if it's a slow puncture or there's a little bit of an air hole, anything like that. But what I do need, because if I keep stealing Dada's, he's not going to be happy with me. I take it and then I don't give it back for two, three weeks and then he wakes up with a flat tyre on the works van and it's a little bit of an awkward situation. So, we have two products from the company VacLife and VacLife, I mean, if you have not seen them on Amazon, get to know them, alright? All of the products I will leave down in the descriptions box below and my lovelies, they've even got a 15% discount code for you on Amazon, alright? I'll pop it on screen here and as I say, down again below because... You're going to need these. These are essentials that you need just not in your car, but also in your home. That's so multi-purpose and everything like that, all right? So, the first thing we have is an air pump. So, a tyre inflator, basically, all right? Now, I don't know about you, but this is a nice, compact size. Some of the tyre inflators, like the one that Dada's got, it's huge. And I'm like, no way could I be carrying that around in my boot. Whereas this, I can pop it in the box once I'm finished and it's good to go just to stay in there for emergencies, you know. So it says for the car and home. I love that on the top, it just gives you like a quick rundown of it. Like the initial startup guide, all right? The do's and don'ts. Do not pull the hose. Start your engine. Tells you when you've got to wait for it. And it's also... It's valid for 12 volt cigarette lighters and it's not able to be used currently on large vehicles which exceed the tyre width or 24 volt outlets such as trucks. So if you do have a truck or a slightly larger car, still have a look on their website because they may have ones that can cater for the larger vehicle, you know. But for my little Fiat 500, it's absolutely fine. So I got it all out and my God, I feel like a proper adult with this okay so first off the unit itself it's not bulky i mean look at how small that is it's got a little handle so you can hold it so it's not going to like fly around everywhere it's got a light on it so even though it's going to be daytime i will be showing you like how to work the functions and the lights and everything on it and then you have your little led lcd screen here i'm not quite sure what they're called lcd led you know what i mean and it's where you put 
which type of function you want so i think that when you do tire pressures there's different formulas you know for example um I'm trying to think of an example like if you're doing cooking for example you'd either be like gas mark five or 180 degrees there's loads of different things i am going to be working my way through the manual and we'll be doing a step by step of this my lovelies because this is all new to me as well when i've had to have the tire inflated previously mama g is the one to go to but mama g you will see in this video because she's going to help me out also all right and then you have two outlets at the front because it comes with the extension with the cigarette lighter and also an adapter with a plug if you were to use it in home. You have your, I'm going to call this nozzle, that's what I believe the nozzle is. And all you do simply is the first thing, start the car. Start the car, put your cigarette lighter in, transfer it into there and then you pop your nozzle on, turn your screen on, put it to whatever setting you need it to and then press the button and it's good to go that is how i am uh, that's how i'm figuring it okay so let's say this is the tire inflator and with that also you get the plug with the cigarette lighter attachment so as i say this will be the one that i will be using to go in the car but you also do get the option of having a plug so as i say if you did need to use it indoors also it came with these little things and i thought what on earth could they be? You know what? You can pump up a basketball or a football with this. I don't... I always just used to think that if you had, like, basketballs, footballs, it was the old hand pump. No, you can use a tyre inflator for it. And then the holy grail is your instruction manual, okay, my lovelies? So, as I say, let's have a little uh, rundown of it. So, on your little screen pad, it says the R button is the one that sets your uh, formulas or settings. Then you hold it down long to get the light on. Now, the light, I haven't been there, but I can imagine how frustrating it is if you've got a puncture or you need to do something in the dark. And just say, for example, your phone's run out of battery. You've got no light, it's pitch black. Don't worry, your tyre inflator's got one, all right? It's an LED light, that's it. And then the car is 12 volt and the home is a 240 volt. So this is what I mean with the screen, which I will show you outside once I get it set up. But there's different settings, PSI, bar, KBA, KG to CM squared. I'm going to have to ask Mama G, to be perfectly honest, like what actually my car is because... I've got no idea to be perfectly honest and it also gives you real-time tire pressure so simply for the car it says pop your lead in start your engine plug in your power cord and then take off your dust cap and then pop that nozzle on and then you sort the settings you press the power button to turn it on and this is a good little feature that I think the compressor automatically stops inflating once it's reached that pressure Dada's one doesn't so I was putting it in and then all of a sudden mum was like you need to check it and I was like why it'll just stop no it wasn't an automatic one and dada had it preset obviously because he's got a works van to i think it was like 42 or 44 i think my car's 28 30 32 max so yeah that was a little bit worrying so this you don't have to worry when it reaches its optimum level it will just stop which is great and then as i say once it's reached you turn the power off, take your nozzle off and quickly screw your cap in. And then you can also, if you simply just want to measure your tyre pressure, so if you don't want to like fully inflate it or anything like that, you can just pop it on and it gives you your real time pressure, which as I say, is definitely what I need because I have a feeling that my tyre pressure could possibly, I don't know how much it's going down a week. That's what I want to monitor it. So this, you will definitely be seeing in upcoming vlogs. If I'm doing a Sunday vlog, you will see this because I'm going to have Sundays kind of like my car day. <laughs> Just keep an eye on the car, make sure she's all topped up. We've checked the oil levels and everything like that this morning. She's all good to go, all right? And then as I say, you have your little section about your warranty and everything like that so i mean i was just fascinated with it and look, it even shows you if you've got the basketball or like attachments how to put the needles in don't call me a girl who knows what she's doing and has got her uh, life together because this little beauty is going to do it and as i say it's perfect after just to put back in the box put in my boot and if touch wood anything comes along then we're all good to go the outside i can't wash okay i'm not going to deal with that but the inside she needs a bit of tlc i'm not going to lie i've also got a steering wheel cover i've got some new door mats well door mats floor mats stuff that go in the car and behind the seats i've got them so 
What I really need is a vacuum cleaner. But our extension lead doesn't go as long as the car is outside. Have no fear. I've got a cordless vacuum cleaner. My lovelies, have you ever seen anything more handy? And again, I was fascinated because I thought, mum's always done my car with the main hoover. You can't always get in those little cracks and crevices and anything like that. So when I saw this, I was like, Yes, please. And my lovelies, again, it is still, I think that this is quite compact for a vacuum cleaner. It can go in my box in my boot, which has like all of my um, air fresheners, gloves, like breakdown kit, everything like that. It can go in there. I can pop it back in the box if I wanted to keep it clean, which I probably will do because we know I'm going to get a little bit OCD with this, ain't I? And I absolutely love it. It is fully charged. I have checked all of the charging and everything, but I love it black and white monochrome and again this has a light a cordless vacuum cleaner that has a light i mean come on and then which i thought was great you get your attachments and spares so there is a filter already in it but you get a spare filter because i believe you can use this for wet or dry so obviously you need a filter to take out the moisture and then we have an attachment here which is a brush this is for your fabrics and materials of which you may be doing so this could possibly be something i will go over the seats after that i have uh, cleaned them all you got a little brush just if there's anything that like you can't get out of your cleaner give it a little whirl and then the classic attachment which i think is the one that most people use on a vacuum cleaner just for getting in all of those little areas that you can't quite get in there that is absolutely perfect and then let's just pop you out with it you simply click the button very simple so when it comes to the time to empty in it and everything like that your filter is in there you oh there we go look at it it's probably not going to stay that clean after i've used it because the inside of my car don't judge she is a little bit uh dirty okay let's clip that on and then you have your functions okay so there's going to be some noises but it will tell you along your little board here when it's charged all right <laughs> That sounds powerful, don't it? Let me tell you that. And then also, look at that. There is the light. I mean, you can tell I'm very, I'm very childish, ain't I? I'm very, very excited. And of course, you have your charging cable for when you need to recharge it because I think I'm going to be getting quite a lot of use out of that, my lovelies. And then again, we have your little booklet. It tells you your dust brush tool, your crevice tool. So everything that you need, if say when you take it out, just like a normal hoover, you have got your little descriptions there and then there we go we have the dust brush tool which you can do blankets sofas and fabric surfaces so again these items i will be using in the car but of course you can use them around the house it is a vacuum cleaner you know and then a crevice tool and then your little cleaning brush which oh, the cleaning brush i just think is so cute ain't it and then yeah you've obviously got your charging and your battery tips it takes normally three to four hours to be fully charged and the continuous using time is about 20 minutes so that will be more than enough for me to do my car so it's not if you want to do a whole house you could do by all means like splitting into days but if you want to just do a quick hoover over like maybe your sofas your cushions the car for example you're going to be good to go all right it says keep the battery power mode more than 75% if you don't use it for a long time. This is probably going to prevent any corrosion or battery problems. And the battery itself, an average life is one year. We actually help you to replace the battery for free when necessary. So they do say in here, do not change the battery by yourself. So that gives you a peace of mind that when it comes to the end and the battery may be on its way out, you can contact VacLife and they will obviously help you. And as I say, they help you replace the battery for free, which is absolutely fabulous. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do, my lovely. I'm going to do a pan over of all of the items and just tell you a little bit more about the company itself. And then we can get into using the products. And I'm so excited you're going to finally meet Bug you're gonna see these beauties in action and let's be a productive woman today eh so my lovelies not only does back life have their own official website like the majority of us we buy everything through amazon don't we so they do have a shop on amazon which is where i would pick these up and as i say you've got the codes down below for your 15 percent discount they're a brand that focuses on the daily power tools that you need essentially 
but you want to get them where they're not bulky they're not going to be taking up so much room and i mean they're practical and handy ain't they and that is what we want they are a five star amazon seller and the two main product lines are actually the tire inflators and the vacuum cleaners so as you can see these are stuff that people may not think they need but once they've got them are they recommending them yes they are indeed they've got over a hundred thousand reviews on their official store and amazon store and i mean you can only look at the products and see why high quality sleek stylish they're compact they're not over bulky and just look it's stuff that you wouldn't even think you could get excited about and trust me i can i mean look at this a little dust brush i'm gonna have so much fun using this honestly but as i say i'll leave all of the links down below guys pulls all of the codes everything like that but shannon lee let's put these bits into good juice right and oh look we even get a spare filter you're literally ready to go let's stop the rabbiting and let's put these babies into action and see exactly how much i can transform the car right eh? Right, so the first thing that you need to do is obviously put it in the cigarette lighter, okay? And all of the time that I choose to come out, all of my neighbours decide to come out. So, ain't that just fab? So you get your cigarette lighter, pop it in, and then your screen comes up. Can you see there? It'll automatically set in. So I've just asked mum, and it needs to be set to... You can probably hear mum in the background randomly talking to someone. We need to set it to PSI. So you go through all of the options. <laughs> you go through all of the options, and you have to press which bar you want. So we need it on PSI. And mum has said that it needs to be... Oh, no. 32 it is definitely not 42 or 43 no that, that's dead so we put it to 32 and then now is where it's got the long little lead so mum she has got the job now of taking oh, it right and let's Hi, put yeah. it on the car right. Disconnect it, mum is doing her work. Right. Now simply right. disconnect and then quickly put the tyre dust cap back on. And then you just simply... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so it's now preset to 32, which is what I need it for my car. Yeah, 32 all round. And the car's all good to go. So, the tyre, I thought it was a slow puncture, but it was only a couple, so it wasn't too bad. Now, the inside is where we need to go, all right, my lovely. So, we have got the vac life. You know what? This is the first time that I've actually brought my camera out into my street and been filming, and my neighbours are looking at me like, what on earth is that girl doing? They're just like, there's one coming down in a car, two people have just left in a car, and they're looking, they're like, why is gold inflating Shannon's tyre and Shannon's filming it and talking to it? But we're just going to go with it. There's probably going to be some very strange questions tomorrow and people are going to be like, what on earth was Shannon doing? Because no one in my area knows that I do YouTube. It's something that I've kept very private and I will continue to keep it privately. Mum will probably just end up saying, oh, she had to a nan bought or something and she had to show her nan or something her using it. But I've got me two attachments, which as you can tell, the seats ain't too bad. But you know when you have the little crevices in the seats this is where i will be needing this baby and also i think we will try the brush out actually just on the seats themselves the car itself is quite messy inside i mean we've took the old mats out i had my old pink luminous ones and as you can just see 
yeah it's just a little bit messy everywhere i mean especially here this is like from work all of the grit and that that i bring in so can't really do much i think what we'll do is we'll do like a big polish up as well and then i can show you the full car in the tour at the end but look we've just got like loads of random bits there we're just not going to uh talk about so let's bash the seat back and let's get on and try out the vac life and get this car sorted eh? I have a lot of dirt in my car all right it is mainly from when I go to sites and if I'm going out in the machines you get covered in a lot of stuff all right working through the little bits of uh, machinery you pick up stuff walking through the workshops you pick up stuff walking through sites you get grit you get dirt everything gets stuck in the crevices of the boot so yeah my driver's side was terrible this has been so quick and easy all right I would, I mean, it's just transformed the way that I'm going to keep my car. I do think I might try and put my seat covers on because that could be an experience in itself. So for now, I'm going to carry on cleaning the car. I just need to do the back. As I say, the front has come up immaculately. When you look at how dirty it was at the beginning to now, I mean, look, it can't even focus. There's nothing there for it to focus on. Look at it. Look, I've got a little clean section. I'm so happy. So I'm going to quickly do the back because the back bit ain't really that much dirty. It's just from if I put my uh, seats on. And then what I'll do is we can have a little bit of a clean. I'll show you my little dashboard cleaning set that I have. And then we can do the full little car tour because you are going to laugh when you see my CD collection. All right? Right. I have realised I have a lot of air freshness, okay? Don't laugh, my lovelies. <laughs> Does anyone need this much amount of air fresheners? The answer is no. Shannon Lee, no, they do not. I tell you what, though, I'm going to let you in in a little secret. You get these from Poundland, Home Bargains, B&M. They're all very similar. They're called cockpit sponges. Or basically, it's a sponge that will just clean up everything. So this was the one I got from Poundland. It's called Dunlop. I've got it in the lemon scent perfect for like this time of the year i am sweltering i am absolutely sweltering but i've got to shut the door because someone's got a mop lawnmower going there is a barbecue going on there's a fire mum's gone running in to get the washing in because obviously there's a fire she doesn't want that and then all you simply do when you open it you have this sponge and the sponge holds like a sheen to it so it holds the sheen so that when you wipe the dashboard it doesn't actually let everything off it kind of catches it and soaks it in there so as you can see my car god i'm exposing myself here isn't I? it's quite dusty my dashboard is it going to pick up? Yeah, has seen better days. So you simply, like I use this even on my steering wheel, to see the shine that it gives. And it just takes off any of the type of like residue, dust, everything like that. It does make things a little bit slippery. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> the slipperiness is real when you do this. So when you first do it, actually... Let's take these out because these are long gone. Likewise with that one. And likewise this one, I've even lost the top off of it. Great. But as I say, you get just like a shine. Now hopefully it's going to show more in the light bit. You see that? And it does smell extremely citrusy. But it just helps give it like a nice overall sheen. Look at that. It's like magic. 
and yes I still do have an old tax disc holder because I can't peel that off without it taking everything else off so we're just going to leave the help for heroes on there all right so that is all dusted it smells super lemony super lovely I need to then what I also do is just go over this just with the duster just to catch any like last minute little fibers or any bits that you can't quite get you know and then mama g bless her she is going to tackle the outside when i say tackle the outside i don't mean cleaning the outside um she's just going to clean because i don't know if you can see how bad is that i've got cobwebs my lovelies i've got cobwebs on me car so yeah let's sheen this up and then we're going to try and put the new seat covers on that may be a task in itself i'm going to try and clear out all the side of this because that's not nice is it tidy around this oh look i've got a little hairband there tidy out this and then we can give the tour when she's nice and clean um voila look at that who would have thought that just a new set of little mats would look so different, eh? She's all clean, which is as clean as I can get. I still need to have this because my Bluetooth doesn't work in the car. So, yeah, I need my little adapter. As you can tell, I've gone overboard with all of my little air fresheners. We've got everything and anything there because where I haven't changed it for so long, I now suddenly want absolutely everything. I've got my car holder for my phone. got all of the buttons, all of the jazz. Still keep a hair bobble around my steering wheel just in case I'm caught short. And then this is the new steering wheel cover. My God, we had a bit of a palaver with this trying to get it on. Let me tell you that. And then there we go. That's my little dashboard. I mean, at the moment it has more lights than I would like. But we'll get that fixed when she goes in the garage. But yeah. I don't think she looks too shabby, my lovelies. Oh, and of course, all my air fresheners. <laughs> and then down the side, I just keep my go-to CD at the moment, spare pair of gloves, and there's more air freshener and just little body sprays. More for when I come out of the gym and I'm a little bit stanky, stanky. <laughs> and then in the back seat, as I say, I barely have any passengers, to be honest. I've just got my two little air fresheners because I don't really have any... Uh, cups or anything in the car but always have me brolly in the back you never know when you're going to be out and the ovens are going to open on you trust me this is british weather right eh? and then the boots i've got two jackets here yes i did lose a now i'm afraid uh this is what being an adult does <laughs> i've got all my shopping bags a throw two spare jackets and then another throw and this is all of like my essentials i've got jump leads in here i've got de-icers as you can see i've got plenty of de-icers air fresheners the whole lot and as I say, now I don't have any cobwebs. She has got a few dents and a little bit of bruising, but what do you expect? I've been driving her for nine years now. <laughs> God, what a sight for sore as I look, eh? We've lost her now in the process. Great. I needed to do a new fresh set anyway, so I'm not too mad about that. Um, oh, what a palaver, my lovelies. <laughs> First off, couldn't get the steering wheel cover on. Um, I had to get Mama G's and sisters. I just couldn't stretch it, and that was how I lost the now, so that's great. Um, tried to put the seat covers on, and mm, <laughs> just didn't end well. I got the bottom bit on, and then they had all these hooks and clips with them. Tried to get the top bit on. As I pulled it, the zip come apart from the material, so I would have had like this gaping hole at the top for the headrest. Then I tried to attach the headrest, and it just looked like my car had become a set of body bags. So, safe to say, they're going to the charity shop. I have not got <laughs> the time or patience to be trying to deal with them. And actually, now all of the seats are cleaned. As I say, there are a few little stains, let's just say. I might have to get some uh, upholstery cleaner. Oh! <laughs> hay fever is rife today um that is i'm quite happy i think i'll just keep with my seats the way they are i love my new mats they're just plain black i'm kind of trying to move away from the pink phase she says that she's got a black and pink steering wheel like i want to keep this little bit but all of the, like the bright pink mats and that i'm just trying to get away and trying to mature a bit you know um i did get carried away as you would have seen with all of my air fresheners so the little invent sticks i always get them from home bargains b m and currently i've got tahiti banana and cream basically a pina colada and then i've just got a joey i think it's called a happy joey Oh no, little Joe. 
So I got this from Halfords. It smells like strawberry laces. And then this is a flower that, again, I got from b and I think it was. And it is lime and mandarin. Not lime, lemon and mandarin. So, yes, the car is looking all fruity. You would have seen there I've got Dermot Kennedy's CD down the side of my car. I managed to pick it up from HMV for about four quid. So, absolute bargain. But what you may or may not have seen is in my little glove box. Now, Fiat 500s, my one doesn't have a glove box. It's just has a compartment i have got a very old-fashioned cd set and my lovelies when i tell you old-fashioned look it's even got it written on the disc or paper copy outs of what the songs are and then i've just took some from like cds that i didn't really want to take up the space they have just gone in here so when i go on like road trips i don't listen to my deezer so deezer it's like spotify that's what i have my version of spotify and i have that for like going to work everything like that even though lately the past week i've literally just been listening to dermot kennedy and then when I go on a road trip, I don't have my Deezer because normally my phone is for sat-nav. I know you can use your phone for sat-nav and still have the music, but I love having a good road trip with all the CDs. It is, I don't know, it's very reminiscent, very nostalgic and... Yeah, I love it. So I have my bigger CD case. I got that off of Amazon, which I'll link down below because I say, I thought it was really handy. I did have a really small groovy chick one. If you're a 90s baby, you know what groovy chick is. Um, but yeah, I saw that. I thought, we'll just go all black so then it's a bit more sleeker. So we had the disaster with the car seats and then I also had a disaster filling the antifreeze. The way the antifreeze is on my car, you can't see where the minimum and maximum maximum is oh i do apologize oh mum's just walking around the side what's she gonna do is she coming in just let me open this just make sure i put them things on top for you tomorrow so with the antifreeze she said to me oh i think it's just hit the minimum okay poured another jug in and it filled all the way up and my mechanic always said like the coolant you need it like between minimum and maximum because i don't really understand much about cars but it expands so yeah how did we get it out you ask getting the old uh, chicken baster the turkey baster <laughs> getting it all out and i think i took out like 500 mils i said to mom i'm not taking any more out because it is expensive that stuff the coolant is expensive i think my tub from halfers was about 20 quid also that's practically like a good couple of quid there i'm chucking away so she's just making sure that if you could see her right now, I would show you, but my neighbours are just currently coming in with all their shopping, and I don't think they'd uh, appreciate being on camera, but she's just making sure now that it's on there. And I was like, well, what's the worst that's going to happen? It's going to expand, it's going to blow up, what am I going to do, right? But yes, that is, as I say, apologies, it's not been the greatest car tour. It is very sunny today, so with the sun, obviously, you can't see anything. You get the glare and everything. Sorry if you hear noise. Everyone is, mum's now talking to all the neighbours and everything, so yeah. With the glare, you just can't get everything on the car. So I'm just like, what am I supposed to do? But as I say, she is going to get a little bit of a clean. So keep an eye out in any future vlogs. And I'll show you an update once she is all clean and dusted and all well and good, you know. But, and as I say, guys, I want to say a big thank you to Backlife for kindly gifting me the items, the tire inflator and the car cleaner, which of course your girl is going to be using and as i say i will of course leave the 15 percent discount code down below and the links to all of the products all right but if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave me a comment what car do you drive how long have you had your car and do you have a nickname as i say my nickname is bug i've had her coming into nine years nine years i've had my little car and as i say she was only going to be a car for two or three years and now i just think pfft, She's cheap and cheerful with everything going up. She's, well, she's not cheap and cheerful to fill up now. She has slowly crept up in the prices of um, the fuel, let's just say, but 30 quid road tax. When anything goes wrong, it's not too major. She says that now as she needs to take it into the garage because I think I've done something with my wheel bearing where I mounted the curb fabulous that's just what i need so as i say we shall see what goes but as i say keep an eye on any future vlogs i'll show you when she's had a good clean and yeah take care stay safe as always and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>